Hey, Sham here. Doesn't it sound bizarre when I say a machine learns? But mind you, this is going to sound ridiculously normal in a few minutes and what you will take away at the end of this video are the ABCDs of your machine learning journey. Let's say we want to predict the housing prices in a given locality. That is, given the area of the house in square feet, predict the price at which it will be sold. We first collect the historical data set that looks like this where x, also called as the independent variable, is the area in square feet, and y is the dependent variable with the price in dollars. Let's plot the data. Looking at this data set, we can see that if the area is around 3,200 square feet, then the price could be somewhere around $50,000. If we generalize this, we need a best fit line that describes the data set. This is the goal of machine learning problem, to find the best fit line given the data. And this is what your machine learning algorithm will learn from the given data. We all know that the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept or the point where the line meets the y-axis. So when I say there is a line that best fits the data points, it means that there is some value for m and b using which you can build the best fit line. So now, the objective becomes how to find the best values for m and b. One way is to try and draw every type of line possible and figure out which is the best line, or take a mathematical approach. We first start off with a random line that is, by initializing random values for m and b. For each data point in the input space, we compute the error in our prediction. That is, the difference between the prediction made by our initial model and the actual price output and square it so that we remove any negative sign. We sum over each and every data point and then divide it by the total number of data points, which concretely is the average error. This is called the mean squared error or the cost function. For the best fit line, the mean squared error is minimum. Now, the objective is to find the values of m and b that will have the minimum error. Interesting enough, if you plot the error against the values of m and b, you get a convex shaped function. There is exactly one point where the error is minimum. This is called the global minimum. This implies that there is a combination of m and b where the error is the least. How to get to this value? Here's where we borrow some math from calculus. There is an algorithm called gradient descent and it helps to find the best values for m and b. I'm not going to go into the nitty gritties of this algorithm, but just give an intuition of what's happening. Imagine you're standing on top of a mountain, blindfolded. The goal is to reach the bottommost point. How would you do it? You would first feel your neighborhood and find out the point lower than your current position. You then move to that point and repeat the same process until you have reached the lowest point. Similarly, gradient descent descends down the slope from a point of high error to a point of minimum error, thereby spitting the best values for m and b. As you can observe, this is an iterative approach, where in each iteration we compute the mean squared error of the model and try to minimize it. That's how a machine learning algorithm learns from the data set. This technique is called linear regression and it's one of the simplest and intuitive ML algorithms, concretely the ABCD of machine learning. Now with your best fit line, you can make accurate predictions on what a price of a house will be sold at given the area in square feet. Here's linear regression in action. There you go. You have learned how exactly a machine learns. What's next from here? We're going to do some hands-on machine learning stuffs, so don't forget to like and subscribe.